Welcome to the Relay Station training video. Thank you for joining a team of nearly 4,000 volunteers who annually contribute to the local nonprofit RenVan. We hope you find your volunteer experience fun and rewarding. Your support helps inspire active lifestyles and is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for joining the team. This video is meant to provide more information on how to perform your role as a Relay Station volunteer. Before race weekend, volunteers should read and understand the Relay Station Manual prior to arriving at their shift on race weekend. The Relay Station Manual is a vital document to support you in your volunteer role. It is also helpful to look over the event website for additional information that may not be included in the manual. For many runners, this will be their first time participating in a relay and may have many questions. As a relay station volunteer, you have an important role to not only know most of the race information, but to be able to share this with the runners in a polite and efficient manner. You are the friendly face greeting runners at the start and end of their race. The relay is run on the marathon course. It is split into four legs that are run by teams of up to four participants. There are three stations on course where the runners will exchange a belt with a timing chip. This is the relay baton bib. Relay runners will each have two bibs plus the baton bib. The bib with the number is to be worn on the front of their t-shirt. The bib that says relay is to be worn on the back of their t-shirt. This is to identify them as relay runners to the marathon runners. Shuttles are available to leg B, C, and D runners from the start line to their relay exchange station, and then from the individual stations to the finish line. There will also be a gear check bus at the start where runners can check their bag. The bag will be brought to the finish line where it can be picked up at the finish line relay hub. Upon arrival at your station, your captain will greet you. You will be provided with a volunteer t-shirt and if there's a chance of rain, a rain poncho. Your captain will then brief you on the relevant information required for your shift before assigning you to a specific task. Relay coordinators will drop off and help set up part of the relay station. Your captain will direct you on how to complete the setup according to the diagram supplied by the coordinator. If you are missing items listed on your equipment manifest, immediately let your captain know. Each station has the following facilities that will be managed by volunteers. Shuttle bus loading, unloading zone. Refreshment area for finishing runners, portable toilets, exchange zone with five corrals, and medals area. As relay runners approach the exchange zone, they will be running amongst the marathon runners. A sign will be set up on course alerting relay runners that the exchange zone is located up ahead and to stay to one side of the road. Volunteers will be posted 150 meters from the exchange zone. When they see a relay bib approaching, they will note down the bib number and radio the exchange hub with the bib number and the corral color. The number will be announced by a volunteer with a megaphone to the waiting runners. 728 red. The correct participant will be sent to the exchange corral to receive the baton bib. Arriving relay runners will be guided to the exchange area by a combination of signs and volunteers. When relay finishers are arriving at the exchange zone, it is important to remember that they have just completed their BMO Vancouver Marathon experience and should be celebrated. Be ready to put a medal around their neck as soon as they have given their teammate the timing belt. Show the finishers to the food and drink, ensure they are doing well, and inform them that the shuttle can take them to the finish line to pick up their gear and cheer on their last runner, should they choose. At the end of the day, please pack everything and put it together in an area that is easy to pick up. Waste should be properly separated into the correct bags, green bag for compostable waste and blue bag for garbage. At least one person should remain until equipment is picked up. Should you confront an unhappy runner or member of the general public, contact your captain immediately and await instructions. Your captain will contact the relay coordinator, zone leader, or race organizers to determine if any action is required and to support you. These are some tips to help you on race day. Wear comfortable shoes and clothing. If you are working outside, check the weather forecast and dress for the conditions. Keep in touch with your captain. Bring snacks and water. Thank you to all relay station volunteers. It is your dedication and assistance that make these events great.